30% of the time spent by programmers is spent just surfing the code. Some scientists believe that programming is one of the fastest growing occupation currently. Programming is not as easy, as it sounds. Hey, I'm back. So, um, they were looking at an interesting subject. It's the, uh, it's, uh, op it's the optical character recognition. We uh, we're gonna uh, take a look at the ASPOS library. It's a cool library and uh, I'm going to show you how you can use it in the everyday project. So let's start by uh, making a form. We're gonna put we're gonna put a picture box, just a simple picture box. A bit, but 500 by 500. We're gonna make because I have a picture with this 500 by 500, and I want to see it in a clear detail. Uh, then we're gonna do a simple button that is going to say process. Text process. And we're gonna do a simple label text. So, uh, what do you need for this library is to download. You can download it like usual uh, with a DLL file. Uh, what you need to do is tools. Go ahead, uh, uh, click on tools, library package manager, and go ahead to click in uh, package manager console. So it's gonna pop out a uh, package manager console, and you need to uh, copy this link here. Uh, I don't think it's not the link. It's just install pa install dash package aspos.ocr. Paste this link in here. Install that dash package aspos.ocr and click in. So it's going to install the library, uh, and it's going uh, to automatically reference it to uh, this project. Now, it successfully installed aspos.ocr 3.6.0, successfully added to OCR aspect. This is our project. Here we can see on references that we have aspos.ocr like every other, other DLL file. You can add. Uh, so, we're gonna click on the form log and it's going to pop up a function. A function and uh, on the button. So first we need uh, in, every, in every CS file we need, we need uh, to uh, just link the ASPOS we put ASPOS.OCR there's only R uh, but I don't know what's that uh, and what you do here is just simply you specify a variable for uh, OCR engine. OCR. We're gonna call that engine, but just a vari variable OCR. Here on the form log, you need to initialize that engine. You put OCR equals new OCR engine. So we have we have the engine linked to this uh, to this class. Now in the button, uh, we put this here engine uh, so we can access it from the button. From the button, we need to load the image on the screen. So first of all, we're gonna do uh, picture box, picture box dot image is equal image from file. And now what we're gonna do here is. We, uh, this image is uh, it, uh, is at uh, this is my uh, directory uh, for the images just on the uh, on the on my C drive. So we have the picture box is going to load an image, and, and we, we can debug it to see that it's going to load an image. It's not a problem. It's going. To just process boom. There's the there's our image. Now, 
what we're gonna do here is we're gonna need to uh, specify that image for the OCR engine. So OCR, uh, the engine, uh, that image is uh, image stream. They specify their own uh, as possible stream. And this is not for like beginners. Uh, uh, if you don't understand, you can go that uh, and check out uh, uh, check out some uh, export some more detail explanation. So from file, but this is very straightforward. And the same file we gonna specify here. Oops. Uh, if you want uh, from the executable directory, you just need uh, to add here uh, using uh, system.io and what you need to add here is uh, for example if this is the image you want for the executable directory, you will add um, system.io.directory dot get current directory get current directory and this will get the current directory that uh, is the executable in and then just plus uh, this image here plus like this no current directory yes. you're gonna try it and, and uh, it's going to show you the image if it's on the current directory that is the executable in but our image is in the C drive. So we don't need that system that I already. So OCR image. We we we, uh, we uh, put the image to the OCR engine. Now we need just if OCR. We can do the if OCR process. So it's going to return a successful or unsuccessful boot. So if that OCR process true. Now we're gonna do here the label. The label one. So the label one dot text is equal. I think it should. It should be equal text plus OCR dot text. So this is this will get the OCR dot text. So it will process if it's successful label dot text text OCR text. Uh, let's let's uh, this this is pretty much it. Just this these three lines of code and you have already used those. So as you can see, as you can see, it processed and it did. Uh, so here it didn't understand. You see, it's PQR with ASPAS, but he didn't understand these here. So it sometimes might happen. It, it just and however times you put, I don't think it will learn. No. So. This is it. We're gonna try. Uh, there's. I'm going to upload a video. Uh, how how could you uh, get that to grayscale? And uh, but uh, and you see with Aspos it understands it perfectly. So, uh, now uh, that's it for the video. Uh, I hope this helped. Uh, you can uh, do more. Uh, uh, image filtering and get a better result so this is it uh, we can try one more image just just one more image so what we can do uh, we can try I want to see what that I don't think it would understand because OCR it's not a word in, in the light so. I don't know. Uh, let's see. You save this thing. You save this. Computer. Save this. Save this. Save this. Save this. Save this. 
Oh, network computer. Oh, so you you can't actually do that. So. Now copy in the place. Now let's see what that understand for now. Yes, it did it. It did kind of good job. So is the it detect some spaces here, but I don't think that's a problem. Uh, as you can see. It did a pretty good job of detecting my name. Thanks for watching guys. See you later.